Baggy 3 the action packed Tiger Shroff franchise the third installment is an official remake of the 2012 Tamil film Vetai starring Arya and Madhavan the film is just like the original it's about two brothers one a rowdy unemployed rogue and the other a naive and protected one the rogue ronnie played by tiger shroff always comes to the rescue of vikram played by ritesh deshmukh and after the death of their father and upon several requests of the unemployed sibling the scared one joins the police force the same force that their father served in we notice that the newly enlisted cop is celebrated in the public eye but it is mainly due to the aid provided by the brother who always comes to the rescue of the often scared and docile brother so how do you adapt the same concept on a huge scale send the docile brother for paperwork to syria get kidnapped and well let's make it a one man versus an entire syrian rogue group that has all the ammunition and arms that maybe any capable army in the world possesses a landscape where there is an ongoing civil war considered to be one of the most deadliest in the 21st century in real life but tiger shroff shirtless will come save the day yes that's the premise and the pitch of the film and here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether the movie is worth it or not the good action and screenplay see it's crystal clear in my mind as i saw this film that if it gets certain technical aspects right and the protagonist has a clear vision of how he wants to be seen in the eyes of the masses then in the indian market it will do exponential business even though the action in the film takes a bizarre over the top turn in its second half it is undeniable that it serves its purpose and when you have to choreograph action sequences with an actor like tiger it leads to the design of the most intricate sequences that look grand and serve its purpose i have to also commend the creator is on the development of the storyline especially with its screenplay the choice of developing the relationship the lawless nature of humans and the system over a period of time develops genuine interest so even though all the features of the film serve a purpose that is so that audiences cheer uncontrollably it caters and delivers exactly that also this movie made it very clear to me that tiger shroff is not pretending to be anything different than what his movies are intended to be see tiger knows there's no point in featuring in a movie that exposes his frailties as an actor The goal of the individual is to become the biggest action hero of Hindi cinema and with a film like Baghi and the future also containing only action films for Shroff the man will do the stunts have the killer one liner dialogues and people will come storming into the theater and honestly i see nothing wrong with that moments there are several moments in the film that shine and honestly had a lasting impact in being convincing despite its larger than life pitch some of which includes a moment of confusion as both tiger and shraddha siblings are getting hitched together an angle of an honorable cop wanting vengeance and even the hilarious sequence of ritesh being handed responsibilities as an officer so the movie like any commercial movie shines definitely in moments the underwhelming aspects the music just like the film is a remake of a successful tamil film there hasn't been much inventiveness when it comes to the music other than its background score the movie and its soundtrack is a clear example of the recycled content of the hindi film industry that is getting produced on a consistent basis thus bahane 2.0 taken from the movie thus i would have never imagined i would have preferred abhishek bachchan and zaid khan over tiger shroff bankas taken from the 1984 jitendra and shridevi film tofa and the most shocking of the album was the remake of troy boys very pop popular song do you something the original artist saw and called out the record label for blatantly ripping off his song i strive for the day where we get over this phase and just get the audible treat of original music the dialogues the biggest issue of the film hands down was its writing especially with respect to the dialogues i couldn't help but cringe at the several dialogues in the film and i mean i understand that the concept of the commercial movie is cheesy and larger than life but a lot of it was unbearable shraddha is constantly almost about to swear throughout the film from dialogues like bap se beep to bpo and is macho ne to it only see gets tiring and very repetitive ritesh deshmukh's character is written as if he keeps on messing up analogies and at one moment he says matralay mein thookne ja raha hu matlab saucharay mein mootne ja raha hu the worst of the lot includes vijay varma's character that tells tiger and shraddha in war torn syria follow me instagram ya tiktok pe nahi yahan so yes the dialogues can definitely make you squirm in several moments throughout the film 
the logical side see when it comes to what did not work in the film you can't help yourself but point it out is when the second half kicks in your logical and pragmatic minds tune in if you remember bagi 2 it provided for a compelling development of the story until ronnie appears at the base of manoj bajpai's character and then no bullet can even touch the actor even though he is surrounded by thousands of militia choppers and tanks Similarly, Bagi 3 also transitions into the same one man versus a rogue group that honestly requires some form of shooting practice because they miss the man or take certain decisions which from a combat point of view make no sense. He stands for like 5 minutes in front of three choppers and nothing happens until he runs. He literally jumps and catches one of them in mid-air, jumps with great precision by the way as everything blows up around him. He starts jumping and landing like a superhero. He starts transitioning into Wonder Woman sequences with a shield as his legs are exposed tanks appear but follow him rather than shoot at him surround him rather than attack him and then the realization that roni is actually an embodiment of jaya bachan from k3g she sensed people's presence but he hears his name and appears out of nowhere these moments will definitely make you hysterically laugh i just want to conclude by saying the surprising aspect of the film is that i was thoroughly entertained in the first half and how the characters were fleshed out i made a conscious choice of not watching the tamil film betai as it often leads to a predictable viewing experience but it's undeniable the first half represents what carefree commercial hindi cinema is known for funny sequences the development of a romance and ronnie always coming to save the day see the craziest aspect of the film is that it's not trying to be smarter than it is the creators are extremely self aware that they are presenting an over the top commercial action film with moments that are intended to get hooting and cheering in theaters so 8 year olds will fight like mma trained fighters tiger shroff will beat hundreds with ease and tiger will deliver cringy one line dialogue As I sat in the theater and consecutively heard the theater celebrating each kick and blow of funny dialogue, I realized no matter how hard I fight it, how intellectual I try to be, this form of Hindi cinema will never get old. To see your favorite hero kick ass in slow motion against all the odds, the suspension of reality becomes something the masses look forward to when they step into the theater for a film like Bagi Three. And that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Bagi Three. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me. Jammy Pants 4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.